All right, for Bible today, we have been learning this week about Paul and Barnabas, and we talked at the beginning of the week about how Paul and Barnabas listened to God and how they loved others, and today we're going to talk about serving faithfully, <laughs> and today I have two guests here with me today, so I'm going to show you who they are, and they're going to say hi to you. Say hi. 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 Do you know who these people are? Yeah, you know, Josh always brings me Chick-fil-A drinks. So sweet of him. And Kennedy, she always goes to get Miss Dixon water and comes to say hey to us on the way, which is not really on the way to the water fountain. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so today we're going to play a game, boys and girls. And today I'm going to test Josh and Kennedy's knowledge of some things that happened in Acts. And so I want you to kind of play along with us. So I am going to read them a situation from the New Testament and they are gonna have a card that they're gonna hold up. And I'm gonna show you what those cards are now, okay? So if someone, show me your card, Josh. Okay, so Josh has a red frown face and that red frown face is gonna mean that the story has somebody who has an unfaithful service to God. So that means they did it with a poor attitude or they did it for selfish reasons. They didn't really do it to honor the Lord, okay? Now, Kennedy has a green card, and her card is somebody who um, had faithful service to the Lord. So they did it out of love, and they gave um, their best to God, and they did it with a good attitude. So I'm going to read something, and we're going to see if Josh and Kennedy can get it right, okay? All right, so put your cards down. All right, here is our first situation. Okay, all right. Peter and John healed a lame man in Jesus' name. Was that? Kennedy is right. That was faithful service to God. They did it in Jesus' name. It wasn't something that they wanted fame for, but they did it for Jesus. All right, Kennedy, good job. All right, religious leaders had Stephen stoned to death. That is right. That is unfaithful service. Very good, Josh. Good job. All right. Are you guys getting them right at home? Do you know? Okay. You could do a thumbs up at home or a thumbs down if you think it's unfaithful. All right. Here's the next one. Ananias went to see Saul and prayed for him. Kennedy is right. That should be a thumbs up. That was faithful service to God. All right. Here's your next one. Paul wrote letters that became books in the New Testament. Good. Once again, faithful service to God. Okay. All right. Here's the next one. Timothy helped new Christians know more about the Lord. Oh, Kennedy again. Yes. Timothy spent his time and his effort and, and his energy in order to tell people about Jesus. That was very unselfish. All right. Here's our next one. Lydia offered her home as a place for Paul to stay. Yes, she did that out of her love for the Lord. That was very unselfish. It's hard to have people stay with you, but when you want to be hospitable and love the Lord, it's something that he can give you the strength to do. All right, next. Aquila and Priscilla saved Paul's life. Kennedy is very popular. Yes, that is right. They saved his life. Next. Paul and Barnabas listened to God's direction and taught the Gentile people about the Lord. Once again, Kendi, why do you think that was faithful service to the Lord? Because he helped others. Yeah, helped others learn about what? Um, Jesus. Yeah, good job. Are you supposed to have gum at school, Kennedy? No. <laughs> All right, the Jewish people in Antioch told Paul and Barnabas to get out of town. That is right. Why was that unfaithful, Josh? They were not being hospitable. Yeah, they were being mean, right? All right, Paul saw that a man with a crooked foot had faith in God, and Paul told the man to stand up. Very good. Yes, very good. All right, Paul and Barnabas would not let the people of Lystra, is that right, Josh? Lystra, <laughs> worship them as gods. Yeah, it would be real easy in our in our flesh to want all the honor and the fame, but... Um, Paul and Barnabas were not like that. They wanted Jesus to get the fame. So that was very selfless. All right, here's our next one. Some jealous people convinced others to stone Paul and leave him for dead. 
Yeah, that was selfish. They wanted all the fame and all the glory, and they wanted Paul to go away because they didn't want to hear any more about Jesus. That was very selfish. And last, Christians gathered around Paul after he had been stoned. That is faithful. That is faithful service. You're like, mm. that is faithful. They took care of him. All right, thank you guys for being my participants today. Do you think they did a good job, boys and girls? Yeah, they kind of know a little bit about the Bible, don't they? All right, y'all can go. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so today we talked about faithful service. And faithful service to God is giving our best and it's done out of love. It's done because out of our overflow of our love for Jesus, we want to do these things. Doesn't mean it's always easy, but it means that we understand like the gift that we've been given in Jesus and we understand the price that he paid for us. And so we want to give that to other people because we love him. Now, unfaithful service is selfishly. It's where we want to receive honor and we want to receive glory and we want to make it about us and we want our name to be on things. Or we do it with a really bad attitude, like we're grumpy about it or we'll do it, but you're going to know that we're not happy about it while we do it. And none of those things are honorable to the Lord. They're, They're very selfish and it's all about us and that's not what he wants of us. And so today in your work, Um, On page 131, you are going to color the hearts that tell ways first graders can serve God. We talk about this all the time, that just because you're in first grade does not mean that you need to wait till you're a grown-up to serve the Lord. Like, you can serve the Lord in your house, and you can serve Him at school, and you can serve Him on your sports teams. Like, there are opportunities all around you where you can serve the Lord. And one of those things on there is pray for others. Like, right now, while you're stuck at home... You can serve God by praying for other people. Like, God wants everybody to come into a relationship with Him. And sometimes part of that is us just praying for people. And so I want you to color the hearts that are on the page that tell ways that you can serve God right now where you are at your age. Not when you're a grown-up or when you have a job or lots of money, but just like right now. Okay? And I want you to think while you're at your house today, when things are coming up that you have to do, how can you serve faithfully? Like if your mom or dad asks you to do something, is your attitude one of faithful service or unfaithful service? And are your motives faithful or unfaithful? And are the actions that you do, are they faithful or unfaithful? And really think about that today. And if you notice, hey, I'm I'm doing a lot of things with like a really bad heart or I'm having a really bad attitude, then pray and ask the Lord to help you, to help you get past yourself so that you can love and serve the people that God has given around you out of your abundance of love for him. All right, so complete page 131 and then send me a picture.